the flight tickets to Paris just the week before the Olympic Games were quite low, so we acted on our impulses and booked the trip just a few days before we fly. And this is how the trip went. We arrived late at night. Olympic decorations are everywhere. We first planned to take the train to the city center, but you know, security before the Olympic Games is very straight, and they had to close off the passage to the train because they found an unclaimed luggage. And so we couldn't take the train, and we're taking the bus instead. A super bumpy ride, I must say. But anyways, we arrived at our hotel at last. So, our official first day of Paris. Our first stop is the Art de Triomphe. We're going there by metro, of course. The fare before the Olympics becomes so expensive, you won't even believe it. But I do really like this metro line above Grand. The view is so pretty. It feels really romantic, if you understand what I mean. And some of these older carriages have this really funny opening handle thingy. It's weird. I like it. Oh, it smells so good. And there it is. We booked the early tickets to the Art de Triumph to avoid the crowd. Also, just a small reminder, you probably know this already, but it is impossible to go through the traffic above ground. So to get to the roundabout, you have to go through this underground passage. It is just right next to the metro station. It should be very easy to find. In the middle of the passage, you will see the ticket office and the stairs to go up. We pre-ordered the tickets online, so it is really nice that we can just walk past the line and go straight up to the Art de Triomphe. The Art de Triomphe is one of the most famous monuments in Paris. It honors those who fought and gave their lives for France during the French Revolution and the Laponionic Wars. The details are just stunning. It is a very powerful symbol of the French history. Underneath it lies the tomb of the unknown soldier, and beside it is the eternal flame that rekindles every evening, as a sign of gratitude and honor. And now we start the climb! These spiral stairs can lead us straight to the top. It takes 284 steps to, firstly, the Arctic Room, and like any tourist spot, of course there is a souvenir shop, and a small exhibition of some artifacts and a brief presentation of the construction history of the Art de Triomphe. And 46 steps more, we reached the terrace. And here, it provides you with a 360 view of the city center of Paris. Ah, what a good way to start the day! That's the Eiffel Tower. Let's take some picture first. Outside is of course the famous shopping street, Champs Elysees. Among all the stores, there's one I think you should definitely check it out. 86 Champs. 
It is a unique concept store collaborate by L'Occitane and the famous pastry chef Pierre Amis, and it is also designed by a top Parisian architect. Skincare with good smells and cute packaging with beautiful cakes and pastry with tea and coffee. It really can't get any more dreamy than this, isn't it? Pierre Amis is one of the top pastry chef in France. And oh my god, their croissants are so good. We bought it another day from another location. I had the best croissant I have ever had. I'll show you our trip there in another video. And of course, if you don't want sweet things like pastry or cakes in the afternoon for lunch, there are also tons of cafe along the street and you can easily find a baguette or sandwich or any other savory goods. I think that is a much better option than dining in a restaurant here. It gets really hot in the afternoon, so we're going to find some cold drinks. Yeah, ding tea. Yeah, okay. It's a lot, a lot of restaurants here. We also find this really pretty church on our way there. you're waiting for. You gonna sneak a taste? I think you like it. Of course. Our plan is to cross the bridge and then go to the Saint Chapelle, but a lot of the regular roads are actually closed off because of the Olympics, and we are kind of lost here. Google Map didn't really update on this, so yeah, we waste quite some time. Anyways, we actually have a booking for the Eiffel Tower soon, so I guess we're just gonna eat something for dinner first and then go there directly.
We chose this time slot specifically so that we can get here around sunset and we can see the tower lights up from here. It is so pretty. And just before we go to bed, the Eiffel Tower lights up again. It's the perfect ending for our first day in Paris. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!